that everyone here likes to edit or filter their pictures before posting them on Instagram, right? Yes. You guys are lying. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, so today there are so many images that are being perfected uh, with the help of technology. Um, but how far and how serious has this um, issue gone? Um, I know that there's a lot of us who look into, um, who, who the media portrays like so many images of like our favorite celebrities and models and they just look flawless and perfect and we're just dwell over their perfect skin and their and their you know perfect body shape and everything and um you know sometimes we even we find like a really nice picture and we use it as our motivation we rip it out of magazines post it on our walls and we use that as our motivations to you know um look exactly like them we would all want to transform to what the media calls you know beautiful um, I am actually one of those people who, would, who, you know, thought, like, oh, I want to look exactly like this. My sophomore year of high school, I remember I would, like, go to Target, like, twice a month because there was always that new issue of magazines, and I literally spent, like, hours just sitting there in the books and, ma and magazine section just looking at all of the magazines and just um, admiring all the beauty and the perfection that it portrays. Um, so... Um, so, um, okay, so first we'll be talking about the problem, which is um, uh, adolescents, college-aged um, college women and men, uh, developing low self-esteem due to what media uh, portrays. So first, um, we all, um, a lot of us have, you know, our we look at magazines and we feel, we start to feel insecure. We may be eating and then we look at how perfect someone looks and we're just like, okay, maybe I should, I should stop eating this right now. Um, so, um, you know, it creates, it brings about self-esteem, uh, low self-esteem, and um, that links to uh, that, uh, wrong eating disorders. And, um, um, we all know that body image has been a one major problem that continues to grow in society. We all acquire an inspiration from the media to lose weight or look exactly how a magazine looks. Um, the problem, you know, fictional magazines are portraying false beauty, which is leading teens and adults to take drastic measures to look as what society calls beautiful. I'm sure that, you know, I'm sure you guys remember that whole sensation where the whole thigh gap became popular. And then, like, a whole bunch of girls were like, oh my gosh, I want to thigh gap and, you know, thin legs and, you know, all that. Um, and then soon, it only lasted like a month or something, and yet a lot of people, you know, they take drastic measures, they overwork themselves to look like something that didn't even last very long, or they they would um, not eat, you know? Um, okay. Oh, okay. So there, um, these the magazines are portraying altered images. Everything in magazines are being um, altered. As you can see, this is all. This is everything they do to an image. And um, in um, in De uh, Deborah Demar's 2008 book entitled uh, "From Inspiration to Opposition," she affirms that um, teenagers that teenagers sacrifice their mental, their mental, physical, and emotional health to try and look like what celebrities are being conveyed in the media. Um, also in the um, American Association, uh, American Medical Association, uh, they stated that um, these images are portraying, are, um, I guess, teaching young women and men that um, are giving them an ideal of what one has to look like to, to, to you know, make them feel um, beautiful. So here, um, the cause is Photoshopping. We, we're not even aware of how much is being Photoshopped, how much a photo is being Photoshopped. Ralph Lauren, um, this, magazine, picture of the magazine, was actually published. 
and they he was called out because it was just really really um, manipulated. I mean, her head is bigger than her waist. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so he he was called out on that. And he told me, you know what, this is this is really bad image um, manipulation of you know photoshopping her, and um, he actually took responsibility for this. And he told me, you know what, we're going to fix that, you know, this isn't going to happen again. <coughs> um, over here, you see how the, the girl, like, she looks, they make her look like she's flawless and s stuff. I mean, really, there's, no, no one is that perfect. And I don't see anything wrong with putting her the way she looked um, before. And this one over here as well, um, there's really nothing wrong. I mean, she looks fine, right? <laughs> um, okay. So yes, for just real turn perfection. Um, so yeah, it's promoting perfection that's just non-existent, does not exist, and we're the ones who are trying to fit into what society has portrayed to us. Um, one tactic I forgot to mention. Um, I found this on Tumblr, and this is really scary. Okay, so it says right then. This is how they, how teenage girls are. You know, think that you know they should. Um, lose weight or or